Good evening everyone. Today I am having my first long journey with the MG4 Luxury 64 kilowatt hours battery, the long range version. The distance, the journey will take about 500 kilometers and 300 kilometers of that journey, of that way road is going to be on autobahn or highway, if you call it like that. I am going to limit the speed with 120 kilometers in the autobahn and also I am going to save a second data for the whole trip so we can see the mixture of the trip how does the battery performs how many kilowatt hours we consume and what is the the most important thing what is the distance that we are going to have with the 120 km speed per hour i have reset the trip computer accumulated total is zero from start is zero from last charge is zero we are going to start with 82% state of charge, but it doesn't important because I'm going to fully charge the battery when I am going to start the 120 kilometers test, which is the most important thing actually. At the moment, the temperature is 30 Celsius degrees in Istanbul and the altitude is 37 meters from the sea level. The first part of the journey has finished 169 kilometers three hours because the average speed is 55 kilometers so it is normal it, there were insane traffic in istanbul so one of the biggest metropoles in the world average consumption is 14.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers while the hvac is on which is awesome now i have a 204 kilometers of motorway or autobahn drive i am going to keep the car at 120 km per hour speed by using the active cruise control and the HVAC is going to be turned on also so we'll see what is the estimated range the real life estimated range of MG4 EV luxury version the long range version 64 kilowatt hours battery how many kilometers that it can make with one full charge because now I am going to charge it up to 100% the charging station's power is 180 kilowatt hours per hour and we are getting 139.8 kilowatt hours at the moment as MG Force infrastructure can work with 140 kilowatts per hour. So yes, 140.2. Nice job, MG. I don't know why, but after the full charge. The car reset all data, which is very bad because I am not going to be able to show you the mixture consumption data. And the car charged up to 97% and stopped charging. The station stopped charging. I don't know why. Maybe because the battery is near. This is the first time that I am tried to charge it up to 100% and second fast charging process of this car. It's brand new. See, just 300 kilometers now. Okay, now we are going to see 120 km per hour consumption data. At the moment, I am trying to keep up with 120 km per hour speed. And the average speed at the moment 107 km. And average consumption is 19.5 kW hours per 100 km. Which is actually quite nice for this car. I didn't expect this performance, especially we are driving on the autobahn which is one of the most windy roads in Turkey approximately 400 kilometers we are going to drive 200 kilometers of it and maybe 350 kilometers of this motorway is windy as hell so let's see what will be the actual result about consumption we just passed the 100 kilometers mark and with 120 kilometers speed, averaging 107 kilometers, 19.9 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers on a windy road. Okay, guys, 209.4 kilometers. I tried to keep up at 120 kilometers and I managed average 111. Actually, it comes to 110 now. 
and average consumption is 20.6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometer which means from the 97 percent actually which means you can actually do 300 kilometers if you try to go 120 kilometers without stopping nice good morning guys okay this was my test about 120 kilometers speed for a long journey actually it's a it should be a mixture but you know the car has deleted my first part data of my journey i don't know why this is also a bug for this car this car has lots of bugs about its firmware not about the hardware i think they are going to fix later we'll see but tomorrow in the next video i am going back to istanbul from izmir which is also going to be about 550 kilometers i'm not going to pass the 100 kilometers mark the speed so we'll see what consumption we are going to get if you don't pass the 100 kilometers per hour speed which is approximately 62 miles per hour let's see